viewers, um, I'm here, you know, last but not the least, um, the founder of uh, Fashion and Compassion. And let's ask her, um, you know, about this event, um, you know, how the idea sort of came into her mind um, and uh, about the launch in general. Hi, Ash. Hi, thank you so much for being here. Um, well, today is my launch event, as you know, and I'm here today and tomorrow. Um, the name of the company is Fashion Compassion, and uh, it's basically uh, based on the idea that I want to open markets for women in the Middle East, uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, and also Africa. And my whole uh, premise is that I want the creativity um, uh, to be showcased to the world. Um, so at the moment, I have four brands. And they're very high-end, they're luxury brands. But they're very focused on giving back to the community. So they are based, they're made by the people from there, or designers who are from the West, and actually have gone back there, and are awed by the beauty and the creativity. And they really feel that they need to give uh, the women a platform there. So I have Polly and me here. Um, which is made in Pakistan, in Chitral, and each bag actually has a unique story of the artisan. Then I have another brand called Savannah Chic. It's actually made in Africa, and it's made by marginalized communities. So men and women who have HIV, or women who, can't, who are blind, or hearing impaired, so we actually give them jobs. And it is basically their design. Uh, we just basically give them a bit more creative input. Then there's another brand called Palestine. They empower Palestinian refugee women, and they make beautiful, you know, clutch bags that are gold plated with there's one right here somebody has it um, and they also do hand embroidery stuff and um, the last brand um, is the Ahwani brand it's called Bishtar actually I'm wearing the dress it's a signature dress it's a burqa dress it's completely made out of the burqa uh, the Ahwan artisans actually embroider it and then we take it to Dubai and we uh, modernize it by tailors and all the money goes back uh, to the Zahir Chef Foundation and they, it basically helps Aghwanis live a normal life, get vocational training, get microcredit, and also different charities. And what I want to do in London is basically create awareness for it, get people to see with the idea, and I sell it through my website, and I also want to go to retailers, big retailers like Liberty and Harrods, and I want to sell these products to them. Um, yeah, so uh, we've just spoken to Aisha, and I guess we should be proud of our uh, language and the culture, as Urdu's written inside, so so, you know, should be proud of speaking Urdu, uh, so that, you know, at least we should be able to understand what's written. Uh, but um, it was lovely being here, uh, and we wish Aisha all the best. Thank you.